What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRoads.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. You can expect a new video from me um, Monday through Friday, practically every single day. At 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I go live and work on stuff here on my channel. So if you'd like to join me, please subscribe and give me a little thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out. Okay, you guys, so today we are starting off with some new junk journals. I think I'm going to make five of them. I don't know why, but five sounds good. Maybe I'll do six. Maybe I'll do six. I'll probably do six. I have six boxes here. Okay, I'll do six. <laughs> Hi, Miss Zena. Hi, Stephanie. How did your gig go tonight, Miss Zena? Um, let's see. Okay, so I have these cereal boxes here. That's what we're going to prep. I'm going to be using this patchwork fabric that I created um, a while ago. This is the patchwork fabric that I made using receipt paper. So first I sewed all these little pieces to a string of receipt paper, and then I sewed those together. So that is what kind of patchwork I'm going to be using, what kind of fa patchwork fabric I'm going to be using with these junk journals. And they are just going to look so fabulous. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Miss Nina. Hi, Miss Patricia. What's going on, you guys? Oh my God, I'm so excited because today I went to Walmart and I noticed they didn't have their mask signs up. So I didn't wear my mask. I was like, I don't want to wear my mask. I don't have to. I was really excited. <laughs> It's on everybody. It's like my mustache sweats in these masks, and I hate it. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm having an allergy attack right as I go live. Hi, Miss Tammy. Hi, Miss Monique. So the size that I make my journals is eight and a half tall and each cover side is five and a half wide. So that is the um, size I'm going for. So eight and a half tall. Oops, this cereal box is, hang on, this cereal box is thick. I've got a thick one right here. Oh, and I bought my treadmill today. I'm so excited. My heavy bag treadmill. I'm happy, you know, I have to quit eating bad. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> It'll be delivered, uh, I don't know, when did they say? Like Monday? No, the 20th. I don't even know. Hang on a second because this is. Let's see if it'll work. Let's see if it'll run along. Okay, there we go. I was right, it wasn't, but we're good. Now let's get this to be eight and a half tall. <clears throat> if y'all don't have this paper cutter and you want to cut through chicken, you need this paper cutter. It's the Fiskars Precision uh, Rotary Cutter. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes, these allergies. Oh my god. Okay, so five and a half tall. I mean, the cover, five and a half. I'm going to use the, the spine as it is, but the cover is five and a half. Allergies, I forgot to take my allergy pill today. And that's what happens. Okay, so whatever size spine it is, I think I'm just going to do two signatures on this one because it's, my journals get chunky. But we'll see later on. We'll see. I haven't decided to do this. Miss Fitz says, forgot to go get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Monique. Monique, don't forget your dinner. There we go. We go those. We need to be eaten out top. Miss Reborn and Reborn Art and Healing. Hi, happy to see you. Eight and a half 
Do I always make my journals the same way? If I can, or my, the same size, if I can, yes, I can. I always make them eight and a half tall with a seven and a half inch cover. Oh my gosh, I can't bring it. <laughs> Be reborn, art and healing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all watching. I really do. <laughs> That'll be a nice. Is this the same size? Is this the same size? It's a smidge bigger. No, they're the same size. I like that. I like it. Okay, I didn't even have to open that one on uh, Sure, it might take me a year to finish them. <laughs> like my last batch of journals that I started. I noticed I was going back in my videos in <laughs> the patchwork journals that I showed off today. I literally made about a year ago. Oh my god. How did that happen? I don't know. Hopefully it takes me less than a year to stay. What is going on? And why don't I use my scissors? <laughs> That's the real question. Okay, so still on the first step, cutting them to eight and a half tall by, and the covers to five and a half. And uh, these boxes, <laughs> I asked my mom to ask her friend to keep boxes for me. I don't eat this kind of cereal. I don't eat this cereal. I don't eat raisin bran, and I do eat almonds. I think my, those are my mom's. But I asked my mom to keep boxes for me. I also asked my other friend to keep boxes for me. So I have a lot of people collecting boxes for me. <laughs> there were quite the number of people saving boxes out there. <laughs> Ms. Letitia, hi Ms. Letitia, how are you girlfriend? Okay. 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 And when I don't have boxes to use, I could make my own covers, but they're easier with boxes. And, um,. Was I gonna say? When I don't have cereal boxes, I could make my own covers. And when I run out of chip, I've run out of chipboard before, like entirely. Like I've run out of big chipboard pieces, and that's when I will make little golden books because all I need is a strip of chipboard to make the spine. <laughs> so there, you know, I have plans for any time, <laughs> any time. I am good, minus these allergies, but I'm good. I want to pay for my treadmill today. <laughs> so the good times are about to come to an end. <laughs> good times are about to come to an end. Okay, here's 
another one. And then I do reinforce them, so that is next. There are several steps in between still, so. Can I ever make just one turn turn up? Um, no. I like putting out almost like collections of them, so it can just have one in a collection. Just to be more than one. Hmm. This box is going to leave a lot of extra. Eight and a half ton, eight and a half ton. I can maybe use this for spine. I don't know. See in a minute. Here. Spine is five and a half. So from where it bends out, it's gonna be five and a half. Is this crooked? What's crooked? Something's crooked. Could keep the rest of the boxes to do tags. I don't really like chipboard tags; they're too thick, in my opinion. Yes, my allergies are bothering me. <laughs> Indeed, I can barely breathe. Daisy, your box said to shake your almond tree. You have to shake it. I think that's what a tree sounds like. Have all the covers cut up. So what are we gonna do? I need to reinforce these to be thicker because it's just a, I've I've done journals with just a single sheet like this, and they really warp and they're just not strong enough. So what I'll do is that's why I need other cereal boxes so that I can cut the spine and cut out pieces for this right here. To reinforce it so my my journals are made from two cereal boxes technically two cereal boxes so let's see let me get some um i need to get some hip clips that's a good thing and then i need more cereal boxes <laughs> wait i do have let me see if i have bigger piece like pieces we have pieces of some boxes. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, that's the bad part. Maybe I can't make that many. <laughs> I thought I had enough boxes to do it, but I don't think I do. So let me see here. Let me see what I can do. I have some. Oh, I thought I had enough. Now you gotta go around and harass people for their boxes. That's not good. This is the this is a little yachtiest Reese's puffs. I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. My friend gave me these. <laughs> I know he doesn't know who little yachty is. Okay, so is that the Frankenstein? Why 
just a spiny bit. This box must have been misprinted or something. How tall is this? Seven. Oh no. I thought I had enough maybe for two jar two covers from here, but I only have enough for one. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. We're gonna go to five inches. Wait, is this right? No. Nope, I need to be eight and a half tall. And then by five inches. Not eight and, eight and a half. What did I do with eight and a half? How did I miss that? Okay, eight and a half. <laughs> and this is for one of the covers right here. And I need another piece for over here. And then you know it's fine. And they have to be shorter. Uh, so however much shorter you want it to be. I do it like half inch. You could do it um, maybe a quarter inch smaller. The spine also has to be smaller than that. So let's see. I'm going to just mark it here. Uh, okay, Miss Jude. Hey, Miss Jude. You're a little late, but I'm still trying to figure things out here. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out here, so don't worry about it. Eight and a half tall. And then, how wide is it? Like an inch, inch and a half? Almost two inches, inch and a quarter, inch and three quarters. This way. And then this is going to be the spine. Okay. And then I need more. Okay, let me check my, my email for a moment. I have not been, uh, I have not checked my email today, but I will right now. Okay, and then five and a half. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it five and three, no. Whatever, five and a quarter. So I'm going to do five and a quarter. Yeah. It'll be just a little bit bigger than this one. That's fine. Okay, so there's my, basically, this is going to be my reinforced journal cover. And I'm going to go ahead and, just because the spine might be different on the other one, so I don't want to lose these pieces that go together. I will paper clip them. Praise and brown, it says. Okay, so I have tried. I've tried making the the covers from different pieces of chipboard, and that really doesn't end up working. Sadly, it does not work. I'm gonna have to hunt down more boxes before I get started on this collection. Um, okay, I still have another cereal box. Okay, okay, dude, I see your email. I acknowledge it. I see it. I will, I will respond. Okay. No, I don't think it's big enough. I think I need 10 more, 10 times the size. <laughs> I love my big cake plus. They're awesome. Oh my gosh, my <laughs> Eight 
Um, Doesn't even have to really be straight. It could be a little crooked. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody will ever see this part. It could. Let me see. It, it does fit. If I like to cut off another little sliver of it, I'd be happy. Just a little, little sliver. <laughs> if I cut it, it's probably gonna be too small. But you know what? It's life. Why is this not eight and a half tall? Oh, it is. Is this not eight and a half tall? Why is this eight? See? That's a problem. Eight and a half tall. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Here is the inside. other boxes. <sighs> so frustrating. I thought I had enough, but I really did. I'm like, oh, I have a lot of boxes, and then it turns out that I don't. Okay. All right, I have this cheese it box. But you know what? This cheese it box is so thick on its own. This is a three pound cheese it box. Oh no. Yeah, three pounds. That's great. Okay. Um, this is honestly really thick on its own. I'm honestly surprised it is. This, that is really thick. I don't think I would have to reinforce this one if I made one out of this, but I'm making the covers from the boxes. Hang on. How tall is this chicken in a biscuit box? <laughs> My husband likes it. It's just so silly. He likes it. Oh no, it's not even half tall. Nope, not going to work. One second. I don't think any of these are going to work. I think they're all smaller than that. Eight. That's why I need cereal boxes, specifically cereal boxes. Check the very bottom of my box. Nope. So all this has to go. I don't really like making smaller journals. When I make smaller journals, people are like, oh, I'm waiting for the regular size journal. <laughs> That's why I don't like making small journals. They don't really sell. They, they do sell, but they sell slower. And so that's what we're doing. Let me see, what can I do? I could condense this to make three. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna make the bigger one, this almond one, because it has a bigger spine on it. Okay, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to use this to make some other cover. Crazy, right? Just craziness. Cut this off here. 
Order. I gotta go to my friend's house and raid his pantry and take all his boxes. <laughs> take all his boxes away. That's what I'm gonna do. Order. Is the spine good enough here? Yeah, the spine would be good enough. So. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I have three journals. <laughs> Instead of six. I want to do six. Well, you get three. That's that's what the universe just said. <laughs> I made Okay. Maybe. This is a tiny bit short. I don't think it would, I don't think you'd be able to tell. I don't think you would. So you know what? Let me cannibalize this one so I can make it four. <laughs> I I really need to make a lot of them to feel better, okay? I need to make a lot of junk journals so I can feel better about myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do it. This one for some reason, why did I cut it to eight inches? I don't know. What what? What? Okay. Could use a little bit of, a little bit off of it. It'll get taken off. Slightly smaller than I normally would have, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, so we're going to make four journals then. That I can squeeze out of my chalkboard stash. Okay, so the first step, well, after cutting, cutting them down, of course, you can make them any size. I have a piece of parchment paper here. And it's time to get to the hard work, right? Okay. So I'm getting a piece of some sandpaper. I need sandpaper. And what we're going to do is we're going to scratch the coating that has the printed material on it. And it just helps adhere with the glue better. So I'm just going to scratch it up and down. And I'm going to scratch it from the side. Now you do want to get this, like I said, from both sides. I have tried making my journals without scratching them. And they don't adhere as, as good. Okay, so we got that cover done. Let's do the insides. And sometimes the powder will get on your sandpaper and then your sandpaper doesn't work as good. So be aware of that. Oh yeah, I've done it without the sanding and it really does make a difference when it's sanded. It, the glue just really sticks a lot better. And this is just sanding, uh, sanding paper from the dollar store. Nothing special about it. I don't know what kind it is, but it's the same number 12. Doesn't matter what kind of sandpaper. The rougher the better, of course. What number that is, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's sanded. Let's get a paper clip back together so I don't lose them. Let me get the fan on. I'm hot. <laughs> One second. 
I'm warm. Let's turn on the fan. I hope everybody had a good Friday. Other than buying, other than buying a treadmill today and not wearing a mask at Walmart, that's pretty much all that was eventful in my day. Let me use this one instead. I don't know what number this is. This is 240, whatever that is. It looks rougher. I don't know. Let's we'll see. That's all that happened in the day. I was so sad not to wear a mask. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's good. What's the difference? I don't know. Bobo is not meowing. Door must be open. No, he's asleep. He's unaware that the door is closed. <laughs> Wait till he wakes up and finds out. Just you wait. End of the work is always good. There you go. Good. The other way. I just worked on my website and blog all day, fix classes, things, graphics, etc. I thought it would be quick. That stuff is never quick. <laughs> that is never quick. Ever. Okay, so this way. The other set of paper better. I don't know why. <laughs> it feels like it's sanded more. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to use sandpaper from the dollar store. That's what we got going on here. <laughs> yeah, he's a weird one. I think he's under um, my bed, if I'm not mistaken. I'd be willing to bet money that's where he is. They have like a sander or something. Do you think the sanding? Isn't there like a sanding machine? I did too hard on this. Okay. Okay. It looks good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. I am trying, scratching every little private that I can. An electric sander, you think that would be crazy for this or would that work? I don't know. I don't know anything about tools. I just know there's a tool that does that. But I know it's for like furniture or would it like kill this right here? I don't know. I will go buy it right now. <laughs> this process right here kind of kills my hands. But we're going, we're going, we're trucking along. Ah! I have a mouse down there, I'll let you know. Let me know. It's just a piece of, uh, you know, chipboard. A mouse sander? I don't know like that. That's new. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. Now, 
Don't mind my toilet paper clean up here. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go get a towel, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just getting all the, the dust off my table. Off my hands, too. Okay. So now we need to glue it. And I glued the, the, the part that has the, the painting or the print on it or whatever. I glued that down to the back of the chipboard paper. So, and I use a uh, facial mask, silicone brush, that sort of thing. And I'm using my favorite glue, which is a uh, Turbo Tacky Glue by Ivy's. I love this one. Emery Board. Emery Board. That might be hard. It sounds hard. Because they're flat and I can't just like scrape them like that, you know. I need plenty of glue on the edges. I will put this under something heavy though, so that always helps. So I do suggest you leave this uh, drying under something heavy so that it can keep the edges together. Sometimes the, these edges here they want to come apart. So when we put them under something heavy, that definitely helps the whole process. Okay. Just gonna dry it a little bit, just so it gets tacky. And then I line it up. best I can. Again, these edges right here, you want to keep them together. And sometimes the easiest thing to do is to, um, I do need a paper towel in a second. Uh, I need to put some pressure on it. So I'll put them under something heavy. I need a napkin to get the glue off of here off my parchment paper, and then I can continue. But uh, we want to put some pressure on it, so I'm getting bone folder, boning folder, whatever it's called. But this has ink on it, so <laughs> that's why it's doing this. I gotta put it in some alcohol, but anyways, the show goes on, okay? <laughs> Trying to put some pressure on the edges. That is terrible, you know? This got ink on it months ago. Months ago, and it's still, it's still going. Okay, let's do this other side, and then we're gonna do the um, spine too. See that right there? It's coming apart already. It's really tedious to keep them together. As best you can. Maybe I need more glue. Maybe. The spine in the middle, so that way, when I close it here, it's not, there's not a lot of material right there to kind of bulk it up. This might be the wrong side, I'm going to have to cut it down later, later, it's fine later. Right now we're all good. Do this side right here. I guess you could help me pass the box quick with the electric sander or just tear it up. That's what I'm saying. I didn't tear it up. That's what I'm saying. I have Tim Holtz sanding rubber block you can attach to sandpaper. It helps holding the sandpaper. Okay. Let's make the same at hardware stores. Have you ever tried using small clips around the edges? I would do that. 
except it will it would literally work <laughs> if i put the clip on here it would work the chipboard so that's one thing i don't want to do just keep i just have to keep an eye on it and like i said i'm going to put it under something heavy okay so let's do this part over here just making sure i'm using enough glue Sometimes I don't use enough glue. Sometimes that's my problem. Like right here, I don't think I used enough glue. There we go. Okay. It is going to want to like warp like that. You see that? That's okay. It'll get stronger once the glue dries. Okay. I'm just going to take the glue off of here. Okay. I can put it under something heavy. A moment. Have some books here off to the side that I don't mind if they get messy. I'm just gonna slap those on the edges. Okay, so next, next one. Let's work on the next one. I just thought of an idea to make a pressing tool for the books. Most likely already cut there, but if you get a baker press and glue, foam, and felt to it, you can, but what is, what is a bacon press? I've never heard of a bacon press in my life, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, next colors, okay, okay. Does that look like more glue? I don't know. Yeah, that feels like more glue. This doesn't even need glue anyways. Let's put it over here. There we go. Is on a big eye uh, cast iron thing to press big enough. I got a bunch of books though. I got other heavy stuff. I mean, I get it, but also I uh, have other heavy stuff. <laughs> I have other books. <laughs> and they're books. <laughs> and they're already in the ground. you're too kind. If you are enjoying the video, please give me a little thumbs up here and come back. I think I might even go live tomorrow to work on the, no wait, no, I said I have to plan for my Friday. So, never mind, Monday. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, someday, no, I have plans with my mom on Sunday, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can I work on them tomorrow? No, I can't. <laughs> Do I want to? Yes, but I need to socialize, I guess, a little bit with 
people in my face. In my face. <laughs> I socialize with y'all every night, and I feel like that's enough. But my husband says to get out the house. <laughs> my husband says, get out the house, Jesus. Oh, uh, Daisy's up to something. <laughs> I have to, uh, I have to socialize with real people. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? It's terrible. Terrible. Um, Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're in. We're good. We're good. Go. See how we're still gonna go in here. We're still. But we're not gonna let it. I'm gonna go put it under something heavy now. The glue might still be kind of wet. Okay, I got other books for this one too. I'm literally just putting it on the ground and then laying books on it. <laughs> books, books, books. Okay. Last one I'm gonna. Nope, nope, nope. I got two more. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I was done. Why, why, why? You want to get these prepped. And then you can work on the covers on Monday. Oh my gosh, my kids can finally get vaccinated, so we'll get mine too. I can have a crafty party. Yes, Miss Monique, let's do it. Let's do it. One second. Okay, we're back. We're back. Let's prep this one then. I got glue all over my hands. I can't stand the feeling of glue on my hands and I hate it. <laughs> but I don't want to waste your time, so <laughs> I'll just have to deal with it because I'm going to get more glue on it anyways. So. It's just always such a weird feeling. I just, you know what the thing is? I don't like feeling dry and glue makes me feel like I'm dried up. So that's why I find it so aggravating. Okay, anyways, anyways. Okay, Miss Be Reborn Art and Healing. Have a good day, good night, whatever time it is. <laughs> Whatever time it is for you, good night. And we're going to keep prepping the covers. I do like these to dry overnight before I work on them. So these have, have all weekend long to dry, dry over something heavy. They should be good by Monday, for sure. And I will have to harass my friends and my mother for more boxes. <laughs> when I go see them, I'll have to bug them and be like, okay, I'm gonna go up to your pantry and everything you had in a box is no longer going to be in a box. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> that is what I'm gonna say. 
All right, this is short. This is a tiny bit shorter than normal. Uh, I think that'll be okay. I don't even know. I think it'll be okay, though. <laughs> I think this experiment will come out fine. Okay. Uh, glue gun comes up and dries her hand out. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Girl, I can make weekly piles for you. Okay, hey, if you have, I want, okay, cereal boxes and big boxes, not little boxes, because I, I just really don't have a use for the little boxes. Like I said, those, the mini journals just sell out really slowly. So I just have to make the regular size journals. So I need cereal boxes or any general big box. Big, 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 big. Gotta be big. Uh, so what would be the minimum size? Probably like nine inches would be the minimum size. Because I make them eight and a half tall. So nine, I guess, would be the, the ideal. I, I don't think they make eight and a half size boxes. I've never seen them. But they do make like, the, the cereal boxes are probably like 12 inch. I want to say like 12 inch. Okay. All right, these, this is the rock size. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's so glue out of here. So that way it doesn't stick to whatever I'm putting on top of it to hold it down. But even if it does, those are books I need to rip up anyway, so that's fine. I won't even trip. I'm about to order an extra recycling can for this house. Nice. Good on you. I need to clean this glue cap out of whatever gunk is in there. Anyways, let's get to this. Okay. The spine. The spine, put it in the middle. And we're good. And wiping off the glue there just so it doesn't stick to whatever I put on top of it. I'm going to put it on something heavy. One moment. Ow, I just scratched myself with a ruler. Okay. Okay. That's heavy. And what else is heavy? This ring of paper is kind of heavy. Ring of paper is heavy. There we go. Last one. Last, last one. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. My back hurts, you guys. I'm old. <laughs> oh my gosh. My back. My back. Sorry, I'm like really getting this glue off my hands. Even though I'm about to get more glue on my hand, okay, easy stuff. Stop. Okay. I'm clean off my area here so I don't get glue everywhere. Not that it matters if I get glue on here, it really doesn't matter. Did I sand that? That is not sanded. None of this is sanded. Why is this not sanded? What happened? What happened? I think I know it's, I don't know why it's not sanded. What happened? How did I forget? 
forget to stand it. This makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Yeah, you're right. I do need baby wipes. I would. I always say that when I use glue, and then I always forget. Done sanding. Ugh. <laughs> Aloe vera ones, good for your hands. Ooh, okay, Jake, that's a good suggestion. That is a good. Way smaller. I mean, way bigger than what kind of glue I'm getting here. I run through this glue so much. Honestly, I go through so much of this glue. I just went to Walmart and I picked up a bottle just because I have one already in, in my stash. But after these, making these covers just takes up a lot of glue. It does. These journals do eat a lot of glue up. So I was like, let me pick up another one just in case because I know I'm going to be making journals. So just tell them I'm going to use them all up. <laughs> napkin. Can I find the napkin? It's like the grossest napkin right now, but it still works. Clean up the glue here. You'll have glue in the middle there, right? Let's do this side now. Hi, Miss Jen. Daisy, do your pages ever feel stiff inside? Hmm. Stiff inside. Some of the pages uh, feel a little bit thicker. Because I'll put like when I put like a big old piece of paper on top of the piece of paper, and whenever I put like cardstock pockets, it'll stiffen that part up. But overall, I mean, not really, not really. It just feel a little bit thicker. I would say stiff. I don't think I'd say stiff. Okay. 
Okay, spine in, and I am done for tonight. These have to dry, and they also have time to get like a little bit flatter because they do warp because they're you know heavy with their glue. The glue is uh, still wet for a while, so that's why I'm gonna lay them under something heavy, flatten them, keeps the edges straight. Like one piece. Let me get to the heavy. My husband's going to be like, like, what's all this stuff on the floor? <laughs> what is all this on the floor? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to call it a night. And then I'm going to come back on Monday. On Monday, we'll come back and work on the covers. Beautiful quilted fabrics. I'm so excited to use them. These are kind of using some of my newer fabrics, so I'm just like really thrilled. They look so pretty. I'm gonna come in and I'm going to um, put heat and bond on this and make fabric into paper, and then we'll be sewing on it. There's a lot to do here, you guys. So I will be back on Monday. If y'all got, if you guys want to come and check me out, check out the next step. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Thank y'all so much for chatting with me. And uh, we'll be back for part two on Monday. So thank you guys for the thumbs up. I really hope uh, you learned something. <laughs> this is just my, pro this is just my uh, projects, of course. This is just my way of doing it. There's many other ways to do it, but uh, this is the way I make my journals. So thank you guys so much for following me for subscribing, for commenting, for watching my videos. I will see y'all on Monday. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye.